everyone, I'm Exotic Gaming, and today I am back with another Pixel Gun 3D special tutorial. In the last video that I posted, I showed how you can get the old versions of Pixel Gun 3D for your Android device, playing on old updates from 2014 and even 2013. Well, now, today I'd like to provide an alternative to someone who may not have an Android device, by this time, showing how you can get. Pixel Gun 3D for your computer. This is as close as you'll get to Pixel Gun World once again, and it is very, very cool. Unfortunately, it's not Pixel Gun World. The Pixel Gun World beta was closed back in early May 2016, but it still is cool to be able to play Pixel Gun 3D on your computer. And don't worry, I'm still working on finding a way to get these old updates for iOS devices. But for right now, let's dive right into this tutorial. So what you are going to want to do first is open up whatever browser you would like to use for this installation process and search Nox Player. Now before I get any farther in this tutorial, I do want to say that Nox App Player only works for Windows computers. But do not worry if you are a Mac user because there is another alternative program you can use. It is a little bit more difficult to use, but it still is relatively similar to Knox App Player. You can use this program called Bluestacks, and as you guys can see, it will work on both Windows PCs and Mac computers. But for the sake that I personally like Knox Player a lot better, and I have a Windows computer, I will be installing this and showing you how to use this specific app. So after you search that, go click the first link that appears, and then go click download on their official website. Wait for it to finish downloading, and then you will be prompted with an installation screen. Now the cool thing about this program in particular is it is basically a Android emulator that will allow you to do anything that an Android can do on your computer, and that goes the same with Bluestacks. Both of them are Android emulators, and they work excellently on your computer. So go click the exe file once it finishes installing, and then go wait for the installation screen to appear. Obviously, go click yes if you get that notification, and then go click install. It will take about 30 seconds or so to install. Depending on how fast your Wi-Fi is, it could be less, and it could be more. I think my Wi-Fi is a little bit faster than the average one, so it takes a little bit less for me, but if you saw that little window there that basically installed a second program, and that is called Knox Multi-Drive, and I'm not entirely sure what that does, but I think that is an important component for running this program. But after that happens, go click Start and wait for this to load. It will take a second to load. As you guys can see, it loads every single percentage, and I will see you guys once this finishes loading. Now, after this finishes loading up, you will be given with an instructions screen at the very beginning, but we don't really need to worry about that because if we are just doing Pixel Gun 3D, you don't really need to worry about all of these other applications. Do not try to open up the camera. It will not work since you are using this on your computer. The camera is not going to work. And the best thing about this emulator is you can install any app that you want, not just Pixel Gun 3D. As long as it doesn't require a camera, you will be able to install that application. But after you open up the Play Store, you will have to add your Google account. So I'm going to add mine, and I'll see you guys in just a second. All right, after you add your account, you will be able to access the Google Play Store. And what you are obviously going to want to search is Pixel Gun 3D. Go click the first one that appears. I'm going to make this full screen to make it a little bit easier to see. And go click Install, Accept, and Proceed. And I'll see you guys once this finishes installing. Now before we actually start opening up the program, I might as well show you guys a couple of these different buttons over at the right hand side of the screen. This will basically set a location, so if you wanted to play Pokemon Go, you can basically set your location in Pokemon Go on this and you will be able to play Pokemon Go anywhere around the world. You can go click this for your home button. This will basically like be a double tap for an iPhone and it's pretty simple. There's not too many. This is your back button. Um, if you didn't really want to go play Pixel Gun, you could just go click back, and there you go. But after that, we're going to go load up Pixel Gun 3D, and we will finally be given access to playing Pixel Gun 3D on our computer. But we're not done just yet. There are a few settings that we need to enable to be able to play Pixel Gun 3D well on this computer. The thing is, you're basically going to be tricking your computer into thinking that you are playing a mobile game for your computer. When you first load up the application, it still thinks it is a mobile game, and because of that, you need to use your mouse to pretty much control every single thing that you do. 
I would just go through the tutorial as fast as I can. It's going to be a little bit difficult because you can only use the mouse at this certain point in time. But after you finish up the tutorial, you will be able to be given access to basically click, click this button up here and be given all of the different key bindings that you will need to make this game more like a PC game or any other game that you play on a browser or any other FPS game. Now, what you're gonna do first is just wait for this to load up with a couple of different notifications. It's going to say that your inventory will be restored if you already have logged in with a previous account that you have on a different device. But after that all lo loads up, go click battle now and don't immediately go into a match with other players. Because like I said, you will not have any key bindings equipped and it will be very difficult to be able to play the game when you're only using your mouse and you're not using anything with your keyboard. So let's go create a random account on Heaven Garden with a password so nobody else joins and tries to kill us while we are doing this because there are a couple of settings that you're going to need to test out and see which one works best for you. So go click this button right here, the button at the top right that I am highlighting right here with my mouse, and you will be given the option to put specific key bindings in, as you guys can see right here, for your Pixel Gun 3D game on your computer. It's not going to look like what I had when I first clicked it up, and it's going to look more like this when you first click the button. So these basically are going to give you every possible control you are going to need for a mobile game. Go click this one for your direction controls. It's going to be a little bit small, smaller for you. It's going to look something like this, but just drag it out so it actually covers every little bit of the control. It just makes sure that you actually are hitting the right spot on your screen when you're doing this. And it's not going to have WASD. It's going to be empty, and you can basically customize this however you feel is easiest to control, but I personally like WASD, and I'm pretty sure most people do as well. That's normally what you do when you um, play a FPS game on your computer. Now, you're not going to be able to use the swiping controls between your different weapons. You're not going to be able to do that. Swiping is the only thing that does not work with this player. So what you're going to want to do is go into your settings and go make sure you have the cell control enabled. And what you're basically going to do now is drag all of these over here and go put one for each of the boxes of your weapons. What I would do is I would number them from one to six, so it's a little bit easier to find out these different weapons when you are in a match. Say you're over there and you have your machine gun equipped and you quickly wanna go switch over to your sniper rifle, you just have to click number five and you will be given the sniper rifle. So if we were just to test this out right now, we can move with WASD as you guys can see, you can even click both of the buttons at the same time and go at a diagonal. And if I wanted to click two, three, four, five, and six without even moving my mouse. So that's great, but you're not done just yet. I would click number five so I can see my scope right here, and this is going to give you the sight ability, and this will be for the right click. The right click is going to work with the sight. It's a little awkward, it doesn't work all the time, but it still is better than nothing. You definitely wanna be able to use the sight more than you don't. And then this little button right here will be for when you click the left click, that will fire your gun. Now, you're going to have to move your mouse around here, so you're going to make your character a little sensitive. You're going to make it pretty sensitive, so it's easy to swipe around on this side of the screen, so you'll be able to move your character around. You're going to put a little button right here for space, that's what I would put for jump, I would put R for reload, and I would put G for grenade, not F, G for grenade. It's pretty simple. I would just put G for grenade just because it, it works well. It's G. Grenade starts with G. It just looks a little bit easier. And as you guys can see, I am clicking on my mouse and moving from left to right so I can actually move my character around like this while I am moving. And you can push space to jump and then go click this to fire. Now, if you wanted to aim, which you all you have to do is make sure your mouse is on the right side of the screen. Go click the right click and then go fire like I do right here. Then go reload, and the weird thing is it will automatically aim you back in when you start moving, um, but all you have to do is just right click again and you will be good. And that's pretty much it. Um, what you should do is you should make sure that your sensitivity is at a decent amount. Um, I would have my sensitivity, so I, if I put my mouse right here and I wanted to move around, I could move 180 degrees there and I could move another 180 degrees here. And I can actually get any side that I could possibly need to if there was an enemy player. You don't want to only have this field of view. 
because that's not good. Somebody, if somebody's behind you, you're going to have to have, you're going to have to move around a lot like this, and it's going to be very inconvenient. So if you can have this as sensitive as I have it right here, I'll show you. Then that is good. You can put it about medium. I would put it a little bit more, like two thirds, and you're good. So with that being said, that's pretty much it. That's all you're really going to need. Now for these three buttons right here, like I have said before, I actually don't know if I said this before, but this basically is your home button. This button right here is going to give you the little access to all of your apps. It's kind of like double tap on your iPhone, double clicking your home button. This is back, so if you're like some browsing through Safari or something like, not Safari, Google Chrome or something like that, and you went to a page that you didn't want to, click back and you will be able to go to your previous page. And that's really all you need to know. If you were to play a different app, like maybe Pokemon Go, you could use this button to go set your location and you can go play anywhere around the world. Like if you were living somewhere in Indiana, you could go put the Santa Monica Pier and you will be able to play there while you're at your house at your computer in Indiana. But let's go find a match here. Let's go on to Deathmatch. It's a little bit weird at the beginning. You're not gonna have the best gameplay at the very beginning, but that goes the same with everybody when they play Pixel Gun 3D at the very beginning. When you first got your mobile device and you went into your very first match, you didn't get the best gameplay because you were still kind of figuring out how this game worked. So it will take a couple of matches before you start getting the hang of this game. You can kill these people using this, you can go fire at them, and you guys will see that you can get some decent kills. You can kill some people. The weapons are going to be very underpowered at the very beginning, and you probably are going to need to connect a credit card if you want to get some of the more powerful weapons out there. So that's something to note, but I wouldn't really do that if I was just doing this for fun, just testing this out. It's not really necessary to really need to do that, but you can if you want to. I would go equip my simple flamethrower and it's a little bit easier to kill these people as you guys can see I'll be able to kill this hopefully one of these people or maybe not. It's, it's definitely weird I'm definitely not the best at this, but I, I will get some people eventually people can have some armor uh, There we go. That's our first kill and as you guys can see you can move around and you can get the hang of this It's not the best controls in the world, but it's better than nothing. You can actually get the hang of this Pretty quickly. I've seen some videos on YouTube where people have played on their computer on blue stacks and they've gotten some great results. Now, for some reason, whenever I do blue stacks, it doesn't really work with the movement too well, so I'm not entirely sure why that happens, but I'm sure you could easily get the hang of that pretty quickly. Let's see if we can get a no scope. Maybe not. Maybe the no scope doesn't, this doesn't work too well. It's, it's a little bit. Um, just a tad bit laggy, I have to say. It's probably not going to run at full 30 FPS, but you're gonna get pretty close to that. I'd say this is at about 25 FPS, and that's better than nothing, so I'm happy with that. And I'm pretty sure most of you guys are just happy that you can finally play Pixel Gun 3D on your computer. And the best thing is, with this, you're basically playing against other people who have mobile devices. And if you can get good enough at this, I will say this, you're going to end up being a lot better of a player if you play on your computer than you play on your mobile device if you play this a lot. Um, because I can say this safely, I am a lot more accurate whenever I fire with any computer game that I play. If I play with Red Crucible Firestorm, maybe that's not the best example, but when I played Red Crucible 2 a lot back in 2014 and 2015, that game I was a lot more accurate than when I was playing Pixel Gun 3D on my iPhone. So that's something to note. I mean, if you really are going to be a more of a dedicated player, then you seriously might want to end up playing this a little bit more often on your computer and you should be good. So, yeah, I'm not getting the best gameplay in the world for sure. There's a guy with the Spark Shark, so I mean, Pixel Gun versus Spark Shark. He's obviously going to win and I'm not entirely sure how he's gotten the Spark Shark within the first couple of levels. It makes me cry on the inside because I, I don't have the Spark Shark myself. That's very disappointing, but whatever it is what it is. You just have to keep uh, practicing and you'll be good. You can get some awesome kills with this thing and get this guy. This guy doesn't even realize that I'm right here. He killed the other guy. You can reload. I always have a tendency to end up clicking the screen anyways where there's the reload, but you always should try to go click R for reload, G for grenade, stuff like that. So if I was to do grenade, I could just throw a nice easy grenade right here and hopefully not kill that guy because he's kind of lagging but yeah that's pretty much it guys that's basically getting pixel gun 3d on your computer it's great i love it and i'm really happy that there finally is a way i should have done this tutorial a little bit earlier but um i've just been holding it off i've been wanting to do reviews on some of the weapons from the 11.0.0 .0 .0 updates and um yeah 
now you can finally do this. Best thing is, since this is on Android, what you can do is you can basically get those old versions of Pixel Gun 3D. If you were an iOS user and you were watching that video on how to get the old versions of Pixel Gun 3D and you were a little disappointed because you don't have a Android device and you have a computer, you'll be able to get that and just follow that tutorial because it works exactly the same since this is basically an Android emulator. So. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it, guys. I really hope you guys thought this was helpful. I really hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial on how you can get Pixel Gun 3D on your computer. I'm really happy. I'm probably not going to ever do really any videos on this just because I personally like playing on my iPhone a little bit more and it's a little bit easier for me. But if you wanted to have the option to play on your computer, this is finally a way to do it. So hopefully it was beneficial to you. Hopefully if you were looking to find Pixel Gun Worlds, I mean, this is about the closest you'll get to Pixel Gun Worlds. So hopefully this was decent enough for you. And um, yeah, make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed. Make sure to comment down below any other things you guys want me to do. I'm pretty sure if the Halloween update for Android devices comes out tomorrow, I will probably be doing a review on that. But if not, I'm thinking about doing those reviews on the Golden Friend. I'm pretty sure I'm probably going to do a Golden Friend review tomorrow and uh, or the Spark Shark, depending on which one you guys want to see. Let me know down below in the comments. I might even put a poll up on Twitter uh, to see which one you guys want more. And that's pretty much it, guys. I've said that like 10 times already. I kind of just wanted to finish this match, but I think you guys got the gist of this. I hope you guys thought this was helpful. Hopefully everything that you could possibly need was covered in this tutorial. And the best thing about this app, Nox App Player, and with Bluestacks, is you can get any application that you want for your Android device. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next episode.